skeletons of Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Disney Theories video. So this one's an interesting theory that um, I have my own opinion about, but the way that this one's covered in the articles that I found is actually very interesting. So the theory that I found was um, the book that Belle describes at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast is another famous Disney movie. Now, I'm going to read to you what I found in the articles for this video, and then I'm going to tell you kind of what I personally think on this um, topic, and then obviously you guys can let me know what you think <laughs> down in the comment section down below. So let's get started. The book Belle described at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast is another famous Disney movie. During the song Belle, aka the tune the, the townspeople sing about how weird Belle is, Belle describes her favorite book. Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. To one fan, this sounded like Aladdin, but another claimed it was Sleeping Beauty. For starters, Aladdin is disguised as a prince, not the other way around. Prince Philip, however, is a prince in disguise when Aurora, when Princess Aurora meets him, mostly because she didn't know he's a prince. Plus, we get a glimpse of the book when Belle reads it while sitting among the sheep, and it looks more like Sleeping Beauty than Aladdin. One of the best and worst things about fan theories is they are quickly disputed until the proper person, author, production company, creator, etc. confirms or denies the theory, speculation is fair game. On February 9th, 2016, the internet exploded after Tumblr user Petite Tiara has claimed the book Belle describes at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast sounds strongly similar to Aladdin. Seems totally plausible, right? Not to Reddit user Comatose, Comatose Duck, who shared their own theory on Wednesday, February 10th, 2016, about which story Belle was referring to as her favorite book, and it wasn't Aladdin. Instead, Comatose Duck believes Belle is describing Sleeping Beauty. For starters, the theory includes a prince in disguise, but as the Reddit user deftly points out, Aladdin was not a prince in disguise. He was disguised as a prince. Strike one. Far off places. While the castle slash kingdom isn't nearly as far away as Agrabah, it's still a far-off place compared to Princess Aurora's little cottage hidden in the forest. Daring sword fights. Prince Philip fought off Maleficent as dragon with a sword. Magic spells. Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether all use magic in the movie, and you know so does Maleficent. She's the reason the story happened in the first place. A prince in disguise. Aurora doesn't know Philip is a prince when the two first meet in the forest. But wait, there's more. Comatose Duck brought up an interesting fact that definitely gives their theory more credibility. In Disney World, you can go to Belle's Cottage for the attraction Enchanted Tales with Belle. The Reddit user claimed, in the, their cottage there is a book open on a table. That book is not Aladdin. It is a well-worn copy of, Be of Sleeping Beauty in French. Apparently, all we had to do was just ask Belle herself what her favorite book was. At least, that's what Emma of the blog A, Pr a Pinch of Pixie Dust did back in 2013. After sharing a snap of the book, Emma wrote, here is Belle's favorite book, Sleeping Beauty. I once asked her, so I know. Presumably meaning she asked the face character playing Belle this million dollar question. Of course, Belle's description is still super vague and Reddit user Awesomeness0232 made a good point about the fan theory overall. This general plot description fits in pretty accurately with a lot of prince slash princess fairy tales especially a lot of the ones that Disney has adapted into movies. The author of this article completely agrees with Awesomeness0232, more so because while researching this particular fan theory, the author learned people have been postulating other book titles over the years. One person thought it was The Princess Bride, another assumed it was one of King Arthur's stories, while others guessed it was The Count of Monte Cristo, even though there's no magic in that book. But until Beauty and the Beast directors Gary Trostale and Kirk Wise give us a solid def definitive answer to what Belle's favorite book actually is, we'll still be at Speculation Station. Disney fans have tried for years to link the company's animated films together into one big multiverse, and some of them are now discovering or rediscovering a possible link between two of the biggest movies. In the beginning of Beauty and the Beast, when... We meet Belle, a bookworm who doesn't quite fit in with the rest of her small village in France. She dreams big, wanting more than the provincial life that everyone else has settled into. 
Her nose is always stuck in a book, and the townsfolk take her mannerisms for weirdness. It's this last character trait we see firsthand when Belle heads to the local bookshop to return the latest book she's finished, believed to be Jack and the Beanstalk based on her description to the baker. With nothing new to read, Belle selects an old favorite, a book the bookshop owner notes she's already read twice, and one that he eventually just gives her. Well, it's my favorite, Belle replied. Borrow places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. Later on, Belle sits by the fountain. She reveals her favorite part of the story to a group of sheep more interested in taking a bite out of the book. Isn't this amazing? It's my favorite part because, you'll see, here's where she meets Prince Charming, but she won't discover that it's him till chapter three. Belle never names her favorite book, but the fan theory which recently resurfaced on Tumblr posits that she is talking about the story of Aladdin. That movie was released on November 25th, 1992, a year after Beauty and the Beast, but it could easily have been an early example of the Easter egg eggs for which Pixar is famous for. Aladdin takes place in Agrabah and features a climactic sword fight, a genie who can perform magic by granting wishes, and Aladdin himself, a prince in disguise. And per Belle's later revelation, Princess Jasmine doesn't learn that Prince Ali is Aladdin until later in the story. The Tumblr post that first posited this theory appeared online in 2012 and Entertainment Weekly and Movie Plot covered it in 2013 and 2014, respectively, before it once again started to spread across the internet. The more people read it, the more people became convinced that Belle is reading Aladdin. Or is she? The biggest hint as to what Belle is reading comes during the second scene with the with those sheep. Sure, Belle sings about Prince Charming, but we also catch a glimpse at the book itself. On the left page, there is an illustration of a woman with brown hair and a blue outfit crouching down. A blonde prince, apparently on all fours near her, and a white castle in the background. The caption reads, Le Prince Charmant, which is French for the Charming Prince. That's definitely not Agrabah, and contrary to what we see on the page, Aladdin pretends to be a prince in disguise with Jasmine after the genie turns him into one, but first he was a street rep. Fans and fellow bookworms have been trying to figure out Belle's favorite book for years now, and even with the Disney universe, there isn't a movie that perfectly fits the bill. But there are a few, like Aladdin, that come close. Although it's believed that Sleeping Beauty also takes place in France, it's a matter of perspective for Belle. She is from a small village and appears to have never left it before going to the Beast Castle. Thus, we can assume that a place like Paris would seem like a far-off land to her. Aurora doesn't know Prince Philip's identity. It features magic from the fairies and Maleficent and hosts a daring sword fight when Philip fights the dragon. The characters in Belle's book have different hair colors than Aurora and Philip, but you could easily explain that with some magic from the fairies, multiple interactions with different Belles at Disneyland parks and the Enchanted Tales of Belle theme park attraction seems to indicate this. Belle's book could simply be foreshadowing her own story to come. She meets a prince in disguise, Adam as the beast. She encounters the curse on him and his servants, and his castle is further away from the home that she ev- than she ever been, especially once she takes her father's place as beast prisoner. There isn't a sword fight, but Gaston uses a dagger to stab the beast at one point. If we move beyond Disney films, the Princess Bride fits the bill, albeit with the need for some wiggle room. That book came out well after the time period of Beauty and the Beast, but Wesley is in disguise for part of the book, although he's not a prince. The story takes place in a far-off place, and it features a sword fight between Rugen and Iniego Montoya, and magic from Miracle Max. Of course, if you ask Belle at Disney theme park, she'll probably give you a different answer. But we do know of, but what we do know of, at least one other st- story that Belle loves. In Human Again, a song cut from the original film but added for the re-release, Belle is shown reading the end of Romeo and Juliet to Beast. After she finishes it, he asks her to read it to him again. Now that we think about it, that could fit the bill for Belle's book too. Whatever it is, Belle's favorite book is clearly a universal story, and just like we did in 1991, we want to read it. Yeah, so that was pretty much my theory too, because when I had originally watched the movie, I didn't really think much of what her book was. And then when I actually was like diving into like Disney theories when I was younger, I heard that the book she was reading was a foreshadowing of her own um, her own story, meaning like 
it was basically like describing the whole plot of the movie and I thought that was pretty cool so when I found this theory I was like wait they don't think it's her movie that doesn't make any sense to me but I mean the theory of Aladdin and Sleeping Beauty being the story is actually pretty interesting I never really thought of it like that but if you really think about it I think it is more of a retelling of her own story in that you know the the girl has brown hair she has brown hair Adam has blonde hair and this guy has blonde hair it just makes more sense to me that it's her story not Aurora's or Aladdin's but either way I mean it's kind of interesting to think about um what do you guys think of this? Do you think it's a different book? Do you think it's her story? Do you think it's Aladdin? Do you think it's Living Beauty? What do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section down below. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.